Welcome to the Virginia and Truckee Railroad Yards in Virginia City, Nevada. We're going to get a quick interview with Tom Gray to look at the new motor car they brought in, and we'll start using this season. Let's start by talking to Jack Greenhall. Have I ever got you on a video or not? I mean, aside from working on unloading those cars? Oh, I don't care. Okay. You don't mind being famous? No. <laughs> the guy that said anybody but Hillary and got what he wanted. S apologize to the world. I'm sorry, world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing on this thing today? Uh, we're uh, we're going to put the sill in for the new windows. So what does that mean? Well, that's just right here. This angle iron is going to. Oh, down below there. Wow. So that's what are you doing? You're grinding it and you're going to pull the old yeah, piece we off. Yeah, pulled the old uh, skin off and. Uh, Put new window frames in. Right on. So how long is that going to take you? A couple minutes? Yeah, it should take about a half hour to take the skin off. The rivets are all ground off, so I just have to take take this stuff off now. Right on. You think that's going to just come off, come flying off there? Yeah, it's just going to slide down. This is a great picture with the Railway Express. Huh? It's a great picture. I got you on the ladder and the Railway Express there. Yeah. Go ahead and pop that baby off. I think it's going to come off. <laughs> Are those two screws up there holding it in somehow? I think so. So as soon as I show up with the camera, Tom runs away. Do you think that's like original or do you think that's been replaced in the past? Yeah, that's original. Wow. Not anymore. <laughs> there you go. Bang. Now I should explain, Jack is not a man of many words, but he's very helpful around the VNT Railroad. So, <laughs> Official spokesman? What? Hey buddy, what's going on buddy? We're going to take a quick look inside the Gold Hill car. This is the first of the three Western style coaches that the Virginia and Truckee brought in. You can see how they have these nice old time photos up there. The old, old turntable is a skating rink. So what's the story here? Let's see, CB and Q. I'm not getting you. Oh, here we go. So CB and Q? CB and Q 507. Uh, 1926 Edwards Rail Bus is a Model 25. It, uh, it's about 43 feet long, weighs 35,000 pounds. It originally had a Buddha engine right here. A Buddha engine? A Buddha. What's that? Uh, just a, ma a manufacturer of an old industrial engine. But now, now it's actually a 454 and a turbo three, turbo 500 or something. Exactly. That's amazing. So it's GM powered. Yes, it's quiet. But the, the uh, innovation that the Edwards Rail Car Company did was mount the engine below the floor space to okay. free up all this for baggage. And this had uh, originally six windows on the side. It was ma made for half baggage no, and half uh, uh, passengers. A more uh, single direction. So that's why it says Railway Express was used for the mail or pack. Railway Express was a package, right? It wasn't U.S. Mail. It was a package company. Yes, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's why I think that's pretty long gone now. Yeah, I think I, I think they lost in the '40s or something like that. I know yeah. the VNT had the Railway Express contract right at the end. Sure, used to be pretty common. So we're uh, taking the brand new restored car, taking it all apart. <laughs> 
cutting windows in the side of us so we can add some more seats for passengers because we need to be able to uh, run for a bus load of people from yeah. the city up and from the city down. Um, what else are we doing? Well, let me ask you, I, mean, I appreciate you just taking a minute because I know you guys are busy, but what what's the story behind how you acquired this car? How did you find it? Did, and you had to go look at it? I assume you traveled to go look at it? Sure. Uh, in 1976, we, we uh, leased the Washoe Zephyr from oh, Shortline great. Enterprises, uh, and that was a Model 10 rail bus. And I actually operated it in 1976. Really? Huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was single-ended, so we'd back down to the tunnel number four and, and come up, and it worked out really good. And, and uh, we only leased that for one year, but we've been looking for one since 1976. Wow, no kidding. We finally found this. This was in Virginia at the Bay Creek Railroad. They have at the what? I'm sorry, what railroad? Bay Creek Railroad. Bay, like Bay, B-A-Y Creek? Yes. Wow, huh. In Virginia. And uh, it was on Ozark uh, website, huh. you know. Oh, right. Okay. And so uh, I asked about it, and uh, and I talked to the FRA in uh, Washington, D.C. about it, you know, what would be required of this machine and our operating rules. And so it was, uh, you know, it was, it was very doable. So we sh we shipped it out this winter, and we just started taking it apart. Yeah, I remember the day it came in. It was a nice day for me, and I got to watch. A lot of rain. A lot of rain. Yeah, it was kind of kind of a challenge. So you actually haven't really given it its first real run out in the railroad. I mean, it's, you Not obviously you obviously rolled it down here, but you haven't had it under power on your no. on your tracks yet. Well, hopefully I get a chance to see that. We'll see. Really? I appreciate it. Is there any any other story behind? The car you, know, you want to tell her? There's people that preserve the old trolley. Uh, um, Harry Nichols, he, he re recast some of the brass hardware that's missing. So huh. Even last night, he's going to make uh, the, the win new window latches for us, uh, reproduce those, and then. Uh, Somehow I suspect you're going to do this a lot cheaper than the McKean car was down there in Carson City. That was a beautiful job. Yeah, it is. It yeah, is. Boy, else. you don't have a million dollars just laying around to throw into this thing. Is, is there anything, I, mean, I don't want to take too much of your time, but is there anything specific you want to show people about what you're going to do or any like well, little... This is an example of a grill walkover seat and uh, uh, these are all mahogany underneath. So oh, no kidding. We'll clean these up and reupholster them, we'll wicker them and then uh, this, there'll be uh, 24 of these in the car or 20 of these in the car and I have 12 of them. I need to, I need to get uh, uh, 8 to 10 more of them. So there'll be wicker, wicker base and, and the vinyl back? Uh, the Naga Hide back. The Naga Hide, excuse me. And this is the brass for the walkover feature, so you know people can go both directions. So it's like a little handle, people. Now your other, the Gold yes. Hill and Silver City don't have that handle, do they? No, no. Cool. Uh, let's see. What? Maybe you could just tell us about the driver's seat real quick, and then I'll let you go. Uh, this is just a mock-up, real quick, but this has an SA2 uh, a brake valve with the emergency features, been upgraded to a uh, uh, truck uh, Bendix brake system. I don't know if upgrade is the right word to use. <laughs> it's got the original bell for it. Uh, we have a whistle off the Pacific Electric uh, um, in an urban car wow. to reinstall here. Are the bell and whistle on right now or not? No. no. Okay. And so, uh, you know, we're just, uh, we'll try to finish the interior work this season and I'll work on the mechanical stuff next year and we'll give it a couple shots. So it has a. It has air just for the brakes, so the, the motor has a compressor that just makes yes. air for the brakes? Yes. Cool. So you're yeah. going to electrify the railroad up here or not? <laughs> no, not quite. Cool. Well, I think unless there's something else you want to talk about, I think that's it. I really appreciate it. Oh, no, it would be nice. Tell people to come ride the VNT in 2011. And ride on this machine.